Hi. Um, I had like a brainwave, um, and relevant to it is that TV does contain, um, some negativity, um, like take Law and Order SVU, for example, you know, there's some nasty shit going on in there, you know, it's something to get pissed off about, you know, um, something to give you like those negative emotions because like um i think i think i need to bitch you know um but it's not just that it's that i only spend time around people um monday wednesday friday and either thursday or saturday and um i think for better mental health I, to to be honest i feel like for the best mental health it's best to be living with someone um to be honest um but like what i've been doing is i've been totally not watching tv i mean I've not watched TV now for about three or four weeks. I mean, I have watched Jurassic World on my phone and I have wa watched um, one episode of the uh, Series 15 of SVU, which was really, really good. And um, I have watched, um, I think, half an episode of uh, Sharp Objects. So um, I feel like... I feel like I may be doing myself harm by keeping myself in silence too long. You know, I th I think um, part of it came from, because there's this guy called Ken who I work with and he said he doesn't own a TV, you know. Um, but like he... He's super busy, you know, I mean, he described his weekend to me and he said he'd be shopping for two different people, you know. Um, so he's like super busy. So, you know, I can't really take take what he said that he doesn't have a TV to mean that he's like very quiet all the time. You know, when he's not a shop mobility, it's very sort of um not doing anything just sitting there just laying there just chilling you know with no like um anything to no entertainment or anything like that you know um i think i think i'm leaning towards um starting with some asmr you know um, I'll do the ASMR for the positivity. And when I feel like I need some negativity, I can watch something on TV because, like... Um, I mean, there was this one film. It had that guy out of the transporter, you know, that guy um, in it. And it was so fucking aggressive. You know, I found myself really, really letting go of really really letting go and being really really aggressive while I was watching this film um and you know um it I, I think it was good for me you know so I think I need to um include some sort of media in my life um, some ASMR or some films and choose the film, no, not necessarily films, but like dramas and perhaps films that are like very, very aggressive, very, very, um, the actors are like really, really strong people or at least they're acting, they're behaving like really, really strong people for like um, the period, I think I've got a wasp in here for the period of time that, like, the, the the film is being filmed for, you know what I mean? Um, so, I don't know where this... They call it an epiphany. 
Um, I don't know where this huge realisation came from. Um, I was going to do a mukbang, actually. I've got some... Um... Yeah, there's something behind my curtain and it sounds pretty big. I've got some melon. If it's a wasp, I'll just put it on a cube of melon and take it downstairs. But like, where all this, this is coming from? It's from, I when I write, oh my God, it was fucking really bad rhyme. When I arrived back in Peterborough, let me just try and say exactly what it was that I had in my head. Um, which is that conversation, you know, not being with narcissists who just speak and speak and speak and use you emotionally as a punch, emotional punching bag, but being with people who the conversation flows back and forth naturally, you know, in a fair way. Um, is the most healing thing ever. And, you know, the more I'm doing that, the less I need to just... I mean, I haven't done it in a few days now. I, I went through a routine, you know, of um, just bitching for about an hour or two in the morning and then spending the rest of the day being as... <clears throat> positive as I could be, you know, but I feel like if I was having more conversation with people, you know, I don't think I would, the idea, right, is that I don't think I'd ever have the need to be negative, you know, in such a, such a, um, dark way, you know, like when I, I've been to Cambridge, right, and I have a great time, and all the people are really dope, yeah, and then I come back to this shit old Peterborough, you know, and I just look at all the people, and I think, you fucking arseholes, you know, as I'm driving through town, you know, I mean, Orton's okay, but town is a fucking cesspit. It's, it's a cesspit. A cesspit is what people have in their garden to, to, to where all the shit from the toilet goes, and then they have it emptied, you know. Um, where I live is a complete shithole. You know, the people are just... You see, because... I, I don't know why they're such arseholes in town, you know. I don't know. But they are. And um, I'm telling myself, you know, if... If I had more conversation with people, I wouldn't need to, like... Um, have these negative feelings towards these people, but um, I think I'm just rambling anyway, so um, I'm going to end this video, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.